Hello everyone, Stevio from Oregon here. So we're just getting back from the hospital. We just went and saw Grandpa. So I need to get back and take an inventory of all my equipment. So let's get to it. So this is our new home. This is our driveway going up to it. So we are staying in Grandpa's house. He did say it's okay, so we're just staying here. There's Buck or Dog. Good name, Buck, for Dog. So he's Grandpa's old dog there. So we do have a Bobcat, another Bobcat here. A 3400 Bobcat, pretty good. We've had one of them at our other farm. Uh, so this is our lawn art, this Masky, Massey Harris 30. So, not sure if this thing still starts, I don't, yeah, it doesn't have a battery in it, so maybe we can get that thing running just for fun's sake. Looks like somebody was, uh, even left a pin in the hitch there. So that's just a kid steer, uh, bale fork there. And we got a little snow blower. They get some uh, snow here in Oregon, so um, let's clear out our pins in our driveway so we can take care of our cattle. This is our tillage tractor, this 8550 Alice Chalmers. So it's actually pulling an Alice Chalmers uh, uh, cultivator here. So pretty good old tractor does what it's supposed to do uh, articulating but one of the first ones out there we have our John Deere 6000 sprayer so this got a recent remodel done to it and this one works great a uh, little uh, wheel hay rake there so we got a little uh, what is this 12 foot car trailer there and a, a little uh, and a Thunder Creek equipment uh, gas trailer. Pretty good old trailer. Let's open up this shed here. So we did take our New Holland 1915 from our other uh, farm in Wisconsin. So it currently has a pickup head on it. Pretty good old chopper. So just figure it is about probably the right uh, model and size and for our operation here we have a New Holland uh, 116 swather here it's one of the first things I'll probably update once our auction money comes in this is a head for our chopper it's kind of a small pickup there but I guess our chopper isn't too big. It's kind of cool how the chain just hangs there, right? Like that. So it's kind of neat fixture. H&S Heavy Duty Manure Spreader again. A New Holland uh, 378 small square baler. Pretty little old baler. So one of our newest pieces of equipment. So this was... Uh, great for my grandpa when he couldn't get around too well so this is the l234 new holland i think this is our only oh i guess other than our chopper this is our second new holland on the farm here so it has a light bar uh it does have a a bobcat a uh, little uh, grapple bucket there but that's a little weird but other than that it's a good little uh, kid steer. Well, I'm sure we're going to get lots of use of that with our cattle farm here. Uh, we got this uh, International Turbo 1256 Farmo. So this is our little uh, feeder tractor. So it has the feed wagon on the back there got another international I just love the grill on this international it just looks so 
good with a mount o -matic. loader on it, a 2350 loader, and this is a 806 International Farm All. So sounds great. I think I might start this up. It also has a grinder mixer on the back. Let's get over here and uh, start this tractor up so you guys can hear it. So it just has a nice quiet purr to it, I think. Love how it shuts off too. Good old tractor. So we have these John Deere, I'm not sure the make. So these are 8350 John Deere drills. So these uh, should, so these are three sets of drills. So uh, arm folds out to the side here. So you can have run all three sets at the same time in the field. Otherwise they pull directly down. This is the roading capability of them. So you just pin them to here and then they can all pull in a straight line when you're going down the road. Uh, this is our Big Tex uh, flatbed trailer. It's a good old trailer. We brought this from Wisconsin. A lizard open side cattle trailer there. That's our long trailer. We also have a Wilson Ranch hand, a little gray power coat Wilson Ranch hand. Pretty good looking old horse trailer there. Got some DMI gravity wagon here. So over here kind of in the re row with the other junk. I have to pick this all this junk up sometime. Just clean it up a little bit. Kind of littered all over the place. Uh, so this is our fertilizer spreader. Uh, we do have a slurry spreader over here and a fertilizer tank. We, of course, I always have my Hall 4000 slurry spreader. So I don't even know. We may, that's going to give all of our old tractors a, a good pulling, that's for sure. That's a lot of weight. Don't know if we can handle that much weight. Might have to put our uh, articulating uh, Alice Chalmers on it. We got a 8639 new idea Mener's spreader there. This is our uh, 30 foot John Deere draper head we brought from uh, Autumn Oaks. Got this international flatbed truck here. Pretty good old international. I just love the looks of the front of this. And that color scheme just almost looks like the international colors. Got a few old trailers here. Bale trailers and this old uh, Ricky Dink trailer. Just don't know if we're going to use it or just get rid of it. Might be a good junk trailer. All this uh, junk collected around this farm. Use it to uh, take it to the junkyard of course we have our GMC top kick truck good old truck to have here on the farm and we have our 7210 case international so one of my favorite tractors so it looks great on this case international row crop planter so this cycle error 950 pretty good looking old tr planter so we're just uh, fixing it up getting ready for this year of planting it's coming closely we're still in early spring but the weather's getting hot it's gonna get to 72 today so never know so we're trying to prepare so this has a uh, Dimco side tanks on it you gotta listen to this thing purr Just love the sound of that. It's a pretty good looking old tractor. So this is our newest tractor on the farm here. 
So it's just well maintained. You look in the inside of this, this is definitely going to be one of my favorite tractors here on the farm. Okay, now we'll go over to, so we have this uh, 4250 John Deere with little side tanks on the side here. It's backed all the way up close to this uh, 568 John Deere baler. No, that's not going to be our baling tractor, but it's just parked in here to get out of the weather. We have a John Deere 80 power steering, so diesel. This is a good old tractor, still runs, still works great for us. Use it for odds and ends around the farm here. Scoot by right there. So, this uh, 9650 we brought from our uh, Wisconsin just because, uh, why not? Because we probably want to get what we it's worth. Uh, we actually ended up putting the duels on this John Deere, so now we have the duels just instead of uh, wide front tires. So it looks pretty good, so I just got it in here, tuning it all up, making sure it traveled good. We got this 4020. We got with the back bale spear and the front loader, so one of my favorite tractors, the little 4020, so this is such a convenient tractor to have on the farm here, on our cattle farm. We got this uh, John Deere chisel, of course. So that is it. So you're probably wondering, why did we move all the way over here to Oregon? So basically, this is our family farm. Uh, this has been into our family for generations, so I decided to sell the farm in Autumn Oaks and move here uh, with my grandpa's failing health. The hospital bills and everything was rising, so I needed to come here to help save this farm so it wouldn't go under. So we have a big loan to pay off for this farm, over a hundred 1.5 million dollar loan so hopefully most of that will be paid off from our auction depending how it goes uh, we may make some a little bit of updates and everything I do plan on modernizing this farm so it's kind of old and run down if you can see uh, I don't know exactly if I'll keep the cattle pen here or not or end up moving it but uh, I think possibly a lot of the buildings can be updated. A lot of them are just wooden side buildings, uh, don't have light fixtures. Uh, the silage silos there can be modernized too. Probably our shops, I would like to insulate them and have nice, warm, insulated, bigger shops so we can get multiple pieces of equipment in there during the winter to work on. Also, this uh, cattle barn, I don't know if we'll get rid of this just because it's, you know, it, it does pretty good for what it's worth. But it's a pretty good old cattle barn here. So we actually own this pasture land in the back here. So we have 50 head of Holsteins here. And we have 50 heads of Black Angus. So we have primarily just a cattle farm here, a lot of grassland. We'll show you our land that we own here. So we own majority of the land all around this farm. So a lot of these are pasture lands that we may be able to get grass hay off of. Primarily we are going to just be a grass uh, farm here. Uh, I do plan on working crops into the rotation though. Have a few fields of crops. Uh, I do think that I may have to work for local farmers just to pay off the bills uh, because I don't know if this farm will keep me busy all the time. So other than keeping care of the ranch here, I do have a few farmers interested in uh, hiring me out. I'll go 
I'm still working out some of the details on that. This is going to be a struggle to save this family farm, but I think I can do it. It's going to take a lot of work and hard dedication, but we can get it done. Hopefully we won't have to sell off any land or cattle to keep the banker away, but even if we do, we'll figure out a way to get it done. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.